I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. This is Priest Kevin Gondoha with the ISUPK. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the ISUPK, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had your life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. We take part in their, in their culture. Do you understand? They continue to sell us our drugs and put them drugs in our neighborhoods because we done turned to like being high. We done turned to like making our, getting our mother high and selling our, mother, uh, our drugs to our brothers and to our mothers and our fathers. We have turned to liking that. You understand? We looking for justice and equality. The reason why the white man feel like they can do whatever it is they want to do to you is because we let them do what it is they want to us. The reason why that judge sat there and hugged that, that oppressor that walked into that brother's house and took his life for him while he was relaxing, while he was chilling, didn't know that, that, that the fate of his life was coming around the corner. The reason why that brother didn't know is because of your Christian pastor. The reason why that brother didn't know is because we continue to fall up underneath this America's tradition of believing we don't have no oppressor, believing that we are equal, can do whatever we want to do just like them. You understand? We don't understand that, that, that America has a perpetual hatred against black states and Hispanics. And we need to wake up. You understand? You got that? You got that? Go read it. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 30, 35. Uh -huh. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, black man. Do you understand what perpetual means? Do you understand? that they have had a continuous hatred towards you, towards your children. Every single day you birth a child, black man, and that child's life is at danger. Every single day we've been walking on death row, not understanding that they have a perpetual hatred against us, man. You don't see no other judge, Tammy Kemp call herself, hugging the murderer, hugging the shooter. When have you ever seen in the courthouse appearance that the white judge has hugged the brother that has committed a crime. Where have you ever seen that at? But yet, this brother is so destroyed, and we are so destroyed, that we would turn around and hug the murderer that just took our brother from us. The murderer that just took our brother from us. And say that that brother had a good reason. He had a good heart. You understand? He had a good heart. And that's why he hugged that oppressor. That's why he hugged that murderer. Brothers and sisters get more and higher years of imprisonment for a minor drug charge. And this evil rat got 10 years who was simply going to serve five, two, three of those years of that charge for a murder, for first degree murder. How many more bodies have to drop before we understand that this scripture is telling you that America and your oppressor has a perpetual hatred for you, black man. Right. How many more bodies got to drop to their guns, to their drugs? Do you understand? How many more bodies got to drop from the county council that they have against black standards and Hispanics? How many more cages do the Hispanic brothers and sisters have to be in? How many more cops I'm drinking toilet water before we understand. You understand? How many more cups of toilet water do our Hispanic brothers and sisters have to drink over there before we understand 
then we're not gonna get no justice from our oppressor. Cause he's the one that's oppressing you, man. Read that from the top. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Go ahead. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. The most blood on the face of this earth of the 12 tribes of Israel. Do you understand? You want to talk about some Jewish holocaust. The real holocaust is when we came over here on them ships. That's right. And you turned around and want to hug the oppressor that just took our brother from us. That just took our blood from us. What is wrong with us that we can't see the crafty council that's done every single day? What is wrong with us that we would pick up another cigarette? What is wrong with us that we would turn against our own brother and sister in the time of need? Huh? We don't understand that our oppressor, our enemy, has a perpetual hatred against black ladies and Hispanics. It has always been like that. If you don't want to believe this Bible, look at the prophecies that have come to pass. Look at how we the lower class. Look at how we the only homeless out here. Look at how many bodies is piling up from their bullets. Look how many of our mothers and our fathers and our children are on drugs because of this white man. Right. Because of this oppressor. And you think you're going to get justice from them? That's like asking an animal that's a predator not to harm you. You cannot tell them that. You have to stick with your own. Do you understand? And that judge was nothing but a, res a respecter of persons. Tammy Kemp, I believe it's her name, Tammy Kemp, was nothing but a, a, a respecter of persons. Do you understand? She respected and looked at that white woman's tears because she wore a badge. Let me tell you something, black man. When, I, when you see a flag and a badge, when you're supposed to be seeing pitchforks and hoods. That is what they are. They are the KKK. They are the terrorists on this earth. They are the cancer on this earth. And we cannot look to them to give us justice. Do you understand? Wicked judge, judges are not going to give us justice. There is no way that that white woman should have got 10 years. That is first degree murder. Murder. That she took the blood of our people. Took it from him in his own household. Can you imagine if one of us had that lame behind excuse if I thought it was my apartment? Could you imagine how many years plus you would probably get for even trying to say something as silly as that? Could you imagine? Read that from the top, brother. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred for you. Our blood continues to shed because they have a perpetual hatred for you. And Christianity teaches you to love captivity. Christianity teaches you to forgive your oppressor. Christianity teaches you to love your enemy when your enemy slaughters you every single day. Every single day. This lady was in full uniform and talk about, I thought this was my apartment and shot him, shot him dead in his own place. How can you continue to be safe and feel safe and feel so above the world and better than any other black brother and sister out there. How can we continue to do that when we are suffering and mourning every single day? But I'll tell you who's mourning. The only ones that are mourning, mourning are the brothers and sisters that's in cages on the border. The only ones that's mourning is the brother or sister that just lost their, that just lost their child, that just lost their husband, that just lost their wife to some police officer and got no justice. And this brother fell into the crafty council, just like a lot of us. Do you understand? We continue on. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Every nation on the face of this earth has had their turn in slaughtering the 12 tribes of Israel. Every nation has had their turn of destroying us and keeping us beneath them. Well, we are the reason why they eat every single day. Mexican brothers and sisters, Hispanic brothers and sisters will get out there for 14 hours a day and pluck your strawberries and your apples for 15 cents. And you will walk in that Mexican brother and sister house and, and deport them, say they stealing your jobs. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Do you understand? They have shed the blood of the children of Israel, man. They have took my brother and your brother away from you. 
and we turn around and forget this oppressor, forget this white man, forget all of that. Ain't no squashing nothing. Ain't no squashing nothing. You took my blood from me, and you turned around and gave that oppressor 10 years. That's a spit in the face. That is a spit in the face. And it should wake black people up. That's right. It should show you one or two things. Do you understand? America stands behind their own. When are we going to stand behind our own? That's right. When are we going to stop judging our own brothers and our sisters and look at the real enemy that passes you every single day like life is so good and peachy? Because it is good and peachy for them. They can commit first degree murder and get off from it. Whereas you can get found with some shit. You can, you can be defending your own self and you find yourself the one that's locked up behind bars. They put the drugs in the community, locked you up for 20 years, five years later, well, weed is, illegal, is, is legal over here. Are you gonna let them brothers and sisters out of the pit that you done locked up for years, took them away from their children? You turn around and wanna say black on black crime is the same as white on white crime? When a black person is in the environment of harming themselves, of harming another brother or sis sister, you are the leader. America is the leader of non-righteous judgment. You understand? Drop that. You understand? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And one thing that we have to understand is America is absolutely, positively scared of blacks, natives, and Hispanics because we are the best thing on the face of this earth. We are the best thing on the face of this earth and we make America and every other country thrive. Every other country, including America. Every single day we make them thrive. Drop that. Give me a... Um, give me a... Uh, Matthew 15 and 8. Give me Matthew 15 and 8. You understand? These, these oppressors are just like their fathers. Do you understand? They did exactly what it is that their fathers did. Do you understand? They give us a sentence that is completely different from us, from, from them and their own, because they love their own. They love their own. America is scared of black citizens and Hispanics because they know what we can do when we unite together. They know what we can do when you put our money on each other. They know what we can do when we get off of their sticking behind drugs. They know what we can do when we be our culture. But right now we are taking on the culture of America to the point where you look left and right and you think your sisters are your enemy. You think your brother is your enemy. When the true enemy are every nation that's outside of the 12 tribes of Israel. Blacks, natives, and Hispanics. Do you understand? You got that? Yeah. Every nation that harms us, man. Every single one. And Christ is coming back bloodthirsty to bring it all back to how it's supposed to be. Christ not coming back to say, okay, black, uh, that black brother can continue to be Muslim. You can continue to sell, uh, celebrate Christmas or Halloween. Christ is not coming back to, to do that. He's not making no room and, and even and out where somebody else can do what they want to do. You are absolutely going to follow what Christ said to do. Absolutely. You got that? Go ahead. Where you at? Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. Uh -huh. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth. This people drive nigh to me with their mouths. You go on the court. Your brother and sister just got harmed from you. You want to call out God's name now. You want to talk about how we are so holy and how we are so different and how we are so God-like and Christ-like. We can come nigh unto God with our mouths. But continue. And honor me with their lips, uh -huh. but their heart is far from me. And honor him with his lips, but our heart is far from him. The reason why we can't get no justice is from the simple reason our hearts are not where God want our hearts to be. And it ain't off no Christianity nonsense. No Greek behind Christianity. That is a drug to black standards and Hispanics. Do you understand that Christianity been around for hundreds of years, made $300 billion in the last 30 years, and they are still homeless in our hoods. The hoods are still being gentrified. We have, Black Wall Street was not built up again. There is no black businesses. There is no doctors that's coming to your house to look at your child, rather than not you have insurance or not. Do you understand? We not splitting no meals no more. Do you understand what I'm saying? We ain't getting no justice from our oppressor. It's not gonna happen. How can you look at for justice from them? You understand? Ain't no reason we should act surprised when that lady got 10 years, when that white woman got 10 years, when that white dirty bastard 
got 10 years, 10 years for committing first degree murder. And the craziest thing about it is some of our own are on that brother's side. When have you ever seen a judge, a white judge, hug a murderer? When have you ever seen it? Never! Never. When have you ever seen Never. a white person Never. who just lost their family member? Never, Never, Never. sis. Never. Never. Never! When have you ever seen a white person that committed murder ask to hug the family member who just lost them? Never! Absolutely never! That is nothing but Christianity. That's because true. Christianity teaches you to love your oppressor, forgive your oppressor. It doesn't matter if they rape, steal, rob you, forgive them. So nothing supposed to happen. No righteous judgment. No righteous time frame. Nothing's supposed to happen. You have never seen it. And that is because we are destroyed. We turn around, we still scream equality. Still, why do you want to be equal to that nasty rat white woman? Why? Why? Ain't no white woman better than any of my sisters. Straight up at that. Go ahead. But in vain, they do worship me. You understand? But in vain, read that from the top. Read it from the top. This people drove nigh unto me with their mouth right. and honor me with their lips, right. but their heart is far from me. But our heart is far from him, man. We want justice, we have, to, we have to love his commandments more than gold, man. If we want justice, if we want our oppressor off of our back, if we tired of being shot in the street by some oppressor, you understand? If we tired of being shot in the street by this right oppressor, by this American oppressor that oppresses us around the world, if we are tired of being shot and killed and on their drug, all we have to do is love what it is God said to do. And nothing of it is religious. Absolutely zero of it is religious. It's not the white man's book. It is your records, blacks, natives, and Hispanics. It is your actual culture, blacks, natives, and Hispanics. It is how you're supposed to live and how you are supposed to move. Do you understand? There's nothing about this is religious. You have to love the commandments more than fine gold because they are the key for you keeping your damn child. They are the key for you having some damn sex. They are the key for sisters to not want to abort their child. They are the key from your son to stop selling you drugs and think he has to go get it how he lives out there on the corner. Do you understand? It's the key to keep your sister off the, off the stripper pole. It's nothing religious about it. You got that? This oppressor sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. What are the villages? The projects, the hoods, out the corners. Everywhere you look left and right, it's a police officer walking. When are we going to understand that the police system is not meant to protect and serve black citizens and Hispanics? How many more bodies have to drop before you stop trusting this oppressor, this wicked behind oppressor that takes your child from you every single day? That's my blood! And that's your blood. And you turn around and want to trust another one? It doesn't make sense. How much bloodshed? How much more? Read it from the top. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. He's waiting for you to touch the drug that he put in your neighborhood so you can turn around and get no justice from it. So you can turn around and harm your brother and get locked up for life. And when they do the same thing, they want to call it an opioid addiction when it harms their people. But when it harms our people, it's a violence. It's a death threat. It's a threat. We are garbage. We're trash. All we are drug addicts. We're junkies. We're spicks. But when they do it, what is wrong with him? They commit a mass murder. Something's mentally wrong with him. That's not a mental uh, 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 condition. That is who they are. How many more mass shootings? How many more school shootings? How many more hospital shootings? How many more airport shootings? How many times? How many kids do we have to come out with that they just take from us? Huh? How many more? Continue. In the secret places, does he murder the innocent? In the secret places, does he murder the innocent? Read that one more time. Read it from the top. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Go ahead. In the secret places that he murdered the innocent. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. This police officer, this oppressor, is right around the corner to murder your child in the innocent. 
when nobody can see. We have cameras now, full out, full out showing you the unrighteousness on how he shot your child in the goddamn back. How he choked out your child and put a bag over his head for selling lemonade. And he's seven, eight years old. They murder us when nobody is looking and when everybody is looking. They murder the innocent. They sit there and they plot on black people's downfall. They get off to seeing black people bleed. Read it one more time from the top. He lived in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places does he murder the innocent. In the secret places does he murder the innocent. What are the secret places? What are the places that you don't see on TV? They murder you in your hood. They murder you in your own household. Your secret place. That's supposed to be yours. You paying rent on it. You paying, you, that's yours. You paid it off. No, you didn't. As long as it's on America's land, they feel like they can knock on your door, not knock on your door, unlock your door, doesn't matter. Kick it down and take your life from you. Take your life from you. And we are gonna sit around like we don't care when this oppressor has taken everything from us. This police officer got all. She faked tears, whatever the case it may be. And we got the nerve to turn around and hug this oppressor from taking my blood away from me. We got the nerve to say, the brother's father said that he wants to be that I want to befriend you. You want to befriend me? Let me tell you something right now, black people. If a cop murdered me, you better not ever shake that man's hand. You better not ever, ever show love to him. He just took me away from you, man. And you turn around and want to show love to him when he showed no love to us? We have to absolutely break out of the slave mindset. They take it a privilege to murder us because we are a people who love to be murdered. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.